I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me. Carol again, and uh, love always lifts us, especially when it's the love of God. I'd like to read uh, now from Matthew 14, 27 through 33. Hear now the reading of God's holy word. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him saying to him you of little faith why do you doubt when they got into the boat the wind ceased and those in the boat worshiped him saying truly you are the son of god this is the word of god for we the people of god thanks be to god let us pray father we thank you today because you have given each one of us a measure of faith now we pray that you would help us to use that faith and help it to grow daily so that we will not take our eyes off of you, even in the storm, but that we will keep focused on you, knowing that you are the one who will save us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I love everything about this song, Love Lifted Me. I love the lyrics. I love the imagery even of being tossed about on an angry sea. But Jesus, the master of the sea, lifts me up and carries me to safety. I love the melody. I love the harmony. And when I think of an accompanying scripture, I always look to Matthew 14. And do you know what I realize? Almost everyone notices Peter's inability to walk on water all the way to Jesus, and they proclaim it a failure. But I will never forget being in Bible study led by my friend Linda Jones, and she said, y'all, Peter walked on water. It is true that Peter began to sink when he took his eyes off of Jesus. And when that happened, Jesus, our ever-present help in time of need, reached out his hand and caught him. But the fact remains, Peter walked on top of the water. So what do we need today as much as anything? We need to be able to walk on top of the water of fear, walk on top of the water of anxiety, walk on top of the water of adversity that is like a storm billowing around us. Instead of calling out to Jesus as our last resort, why don't we decide today, here and now, that we will call on Jesus first. Just as the storms of the ocean can capsize any boat and threaten the lives of all who have been thrown overboard, the storms of life can overwhelm us. Even as a Christ follower, 
I can feel overwhelmed if I do not stay in the Word of God because it is there that I find comfort. It is there that I find guidance. And it is there that I find relief from the cares of this world. It is through the Word that I can put things into perspective. And what is that perspective? God has a plan. And we are not big enough or powerful enough to change his plan. So turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Receive now this blessing. May the peace of God enfold us and the love of God uphold us. Take the name of Jesus with you and share him with all you meet. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.